Yo, good morning everybody. Welcome back. This is Six Play Live TV and this is Six Play Nine here. Bring you guys a brand new video on Traha Mobile. Um this game is uh it's an action combat uh MMO uh very similar to Arcage and although a lot of people play Arcage and they really liked it. Uh but I've been hearing that the game was completely pay to win and stuff. Uh, this game is uh, it's not pay to win in my opinion um, you can get everything um, you can get a premium currency and all that stuff if you play the game for a long time and if you are patient enough um, as usual like most M um, Asian MMOs like uh, there's time getting some stuff uh, so um, if you know if you can handle time getting which is like in almost every single uh, game nowadays uh, especially in World of Warcraft nowadays um, then you'll be pretty good here uh, so for those players who are new and stuff uh, this is a video uh, that covers like the newest update uh, that is coming to the game uh, if you guys know, like I've been streaming this game for a while now, and uh, in in my stream, uh, in my previous stream, I've been talking about uh, like gearing and uh, how it's taking a bit longer for people to get gears because of the uh, time gated content. Um, the developers have actually listened, and uh, I don't know if they listen, but. It seems like they are still they are still working on this game, trying to make it a lot more uh, player, uh, a lot more like beginner friendly, a lot no more uh, hardcore friendly, a lot more uh, player friendly in a sense. Um, so instead of just taking one route to get what you want, you can take like multiple routes. Uh, you can go to crafting to achieve what you want to get. Like your gear sets and stuff or you can go to the dungeons and stuff like that I'm gonna show you guys uh, the various update and stuff so let's uh, watch this new uh, this new trailer uh, this here is for the ice castle watchtower and uh, it's from the video is from the uh, actual uh, developer themselves their YouTube channel um, I recommend you go and, and subscribe to them and support them uh, because they are doing a lot to make this game port uh, to port this game over uh, to PC, and uh, that's the best we can do, you know, to uh, you know support them and stuff. So if you haven't subscribed to them, go to uh, just type Traha Mobile and just type this this uh, title like uh, Ice Castle Watchtower Preview and more games. M O A I, and you can find them and uh, subscribe to them. Um, I really recommend it because you know, let it let the developers know that there are people out there who actually want to play that game. And I know like a lot of people out there right now are playing uh, Trial Mobile. So if you are playing Trial Mobile and you're watching all the videos and stuff, you might as well subscribe to the main uh, channel itself. So uh, yeah, that's that. So let's watch this. The knight and the Vulcan flag together, and uh, yeah, and the dragon just kicked both of them on the side and just flew away. All right, so um, that's the trailer, guys, and uh, we're gonna get into the game itself to see the various updates and stuff. Um, there are still like uh, um, still alerts and stuff going out um, for like little maintenance things that they are still working on um so again the patch just happened like at 2 a.m and up to uh four and stuff like that so we're gonna hop on it all right for you guys who don't know i play uh, assassins and i stream uh randomly i'm not gonna lie i stream randomly so 
uh, if you want to tune in sometimes I do PvP mostly and to prepare for PvP I usually do some PvE content at the beginning of my stream and then in the end I usually end up like doing 1v1s, uh, 3v3s and stuff like that um, but bear in mind though like I'm not completely geared so the guys I'm going against are like totally decked out this game been out for like uh, uh, I don't know like two weeks now or something and a lot of people who started when the games came out like they started on mobile and stuff they already know how all the system works and they uh, recently as I was told like all of these guys have already received a uh, epic set and all that stuff and yeah so if you want to watch more like veterans players I'm not a veteran stage yet if you want to watch like the real vet like the guys who know the ins and out uh, you can check it out on twitch and uh, yeah so that's the game title right there we're gonna hop on in And this is my new this is my character um, I changed the uh, the outfit uh, the skin I changed the skin of the outfit and stuff all right guys welcome to the actual game um, so you use your mouse to look around and stuff and this is my same old set everything I just changed the uh, the skin of my outfit. All right, so I'm here at this merchant area, and how can you find this? You can basically go to your if you are Vulcan, you click on the map, you go to Vulcan, or if you are Naiad, you click on the map and go to Naiad. Right? Once you get there, Naiad, Naiad, or whatever you call them, uh, you get there, you can you can then uh, click on one of these merchant. Uh, basically the equipment uh, merchant uh, exclusive or whatever equipment exchange merchant right uh, that's the merchant yeah, you want to check out to see uh, which type of gear you would like to to grind for in the future uh, to complete your set and stuff so with this new update these are the gears that came in and as I was explaining earlier in my stream, I said a uh, dungeon should be like places where you can grind your currency and stuff like in every other MMO out there pretty much. And there should be like a vendor that you go to and you can spend your currency and buy this stuff. And so this is what we have here now. So as you guys can see here, this is a lot more uh, player friendly in a sense because like there are two things you have to know. Right, you have to know that there's a currency and then you have to know where to get the currency and then when you get the currency well you know you already know where to get it I mean where to uh, get your gear and stuff right so um, so to know wh where you can get a currency you click on this and then you click on the currency itself and as you guys can see here you get a little bit of description and stuff and then you click the icon here you go to dungeons and then that's the area you want to go to right so again it's very simple you come to the merchant you click on the merchant bag icon you click on the uh, item you click on the currency and then you go to the info at the top here you click on the dungeon and then you see the the, uh, the dungeon that provides that currency um, so I'm not really good at making uh, YouTube videos and stuff um, I don't know. I'm not really good at doing these stuff because I, I like. I'm not just good at making videos. I've been I've been on YouTube for like I don't know how many years now, six seven years, and I still have like a hundred uh a hundred subs, and some people enter I mean get on YouTube for like uh, two three weeks and have like billions of uh, subscribers. So. Um, yeah, so when you watch my videos, just know that like I'm not really good at making YouTube videos and uh, streaming or whatever. So I just like to get to the point and stuff and uh, and just end everything there. Um, so that's what I wanted to show you guys. Um, 
if you have any comment about what you would like to see the developers uh, add into the game or what could get changed and stuff um, that's something you could comment about if you are playing a game or if you are new and you need like tips and stuff on where to start um, I've been a beginner so I know what to say about beginner stuff so I think I'll be able to answer your questions and stuff or concerns and stuff um, so about the cap shop in this game I know a lot of people are freaking out like oh there this game is like pay to win so I'm not gonna play it. let me show you guys the, the cap shop All right so uh, this year is a black Friday stuff right this is how much it, it uh, cost and honestly like there is no difference in buying these like when you buy these like you don't get any specific uh, like uh advantage over anybody else in a sense like the items in here are so like they are so bad they are so terrible right like they like if you are if you like if you are if you aren't like a like a swiper by default by default right um i'm talking too fast like these are like not that important like you can just look at them and be like and just understand that these are not that like they are not that like needy type of things that you're gonna have like these are like like convenient stuff like if you really want to get them then you get them but they are not that they are not like like that important that you can like that you need to you have to get them right that's what I'm, I'm trying to say right look at this this is like 500 gold right I mean 500 diamond in a daytime you can get 1000 diamond um, based on your dailies and stuff that you do right to get diamonds you just gotta do these like events and stuff right you get diamonds through events uh, like these are like resets for your dailies and stuff but like your daily activities right you get diamonds through them as you can see you can get like 300 diamonds as you log in every day it's really cold this morning um, and so on right so uh, so yeah so guys don't freak out about it about a cash up like I actually tried to like see what will be in this stuff um, on Black Friday right I only got one of these and I wanted to see what was in it but honestly it didn't make any difference um, you guys can still see me queuing you guys can still see me in my rare gear and stuff so it really didn't make any difference um, and here right these things you can really get them um, the most important thing here in my opinion like personally to me as a PvPer um, again don't take my advice because as I said like I'm not good at making a, a like a beginner's guide video and stuff like that um, I just let it get to the point so um, this is like the only important thing in this entire area here for me right and these are like capped on weekly so you can buy them like you can buy them like every single day and stuff so once you max this out like and like it's it doesn't really cost that much to even like get all of these right so you just get them um, you acquire this these points like automatically by doing like random stuff anyways by logging in and stuff so once you acquire that that's it and here these are like the only two well I bought one of these I mean I bought like the overall things here but these are like the only important thing to me in a sense and I think like this is actually like like you won't be wasting any value when you spend here because like these this currency you can always get like a bunch of it like every single day you get a bunch of this currency so spending here it is in that like it is in a bad idea right and uh, here I really don't have anything to do with this yet because like I don't even know how to get the guild currency yet so that's something that I'll have to look into but again like these are not like again like as you guys can see like all the things that you want to get diamond for to like purchase right you can actually like just buy with like in-game currency and like by pvp a lot right 
in PvP, the, the cool thing about it is like you don't have to win your matches to get to get decent reward, right? You just have to queue and just do your best and have fun, right? The overall thing here is is to have fun, right? You queue up, you have fun, and you don't have to worry about like, oh, am I gonna get this amount of reward? Am I gonna gonna get this amount of reward and stuff? And this is what I really like about this uh, about Traha uh, Global and. Uh, Again, guys, like if you really if you are hesitating to try to this uh, content out, like you should try it because I mean it's just a it's just a great all overall uh, content. Like, and we do need more players. Um, not that the game doesn't have enough players, but it it does. But the more, the better. And that's why I'm even making this uh, video. Um, and as you guys can see, I'm still in my red, uh, red gear and stuff. And so, I want to start gearing up and preparing so that we can be able to queue for these dungeons and stuff. And I wonder if I can change my gear and queue for the dungeon. Alright, you want to queue doing hot time, uh, combat power. Oh wow, combat power, you need to have uh, 51k combat power to get these and these are like legendary stuff so I, I think it's kind of like expected alright um, these gears are legendary gears these are like all the way end game end game type of gear I look at these these are legendary these are not epics these are legendary stuff so yeah so I, I understand why uh, you would need to be like decked out in your item level and stuff so in your combat points so yeah that's all i wanted to say uh thanks for watching i'll see you guys later and peace out